but uh, I represent the ministry of the Lord Jesus who told us to uh, speak and act in his name and so I want to extend to you that very presence of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and of his great rich and powerful love for Taylor and for all of you and he told his priest to speak in his name and so I want to offer you that condolence and that also that powerful presence of the Lord who said he would be with us when we gather in his name a powerful presence which brings healing and comfort we will ask ourselves why and how and what and ultimately we're not going to find a lot of good answers but we do know this our Lord said in today's gospel that the Holy Spirit will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you and in thinking of that in terms of this I think of some of the things he's told us that help us to realize that this present time is temporary but there's something very good and wonderful coming one of the things he said is I am the resurrection and the life and what a stunning thing our human bodies are ultimately going to fail all of us but he is resurrection and life I've had the privilege of saying mass on that slab in Jerusalem where Joseph of Arimathea and his helpers put the dead body of Christ on Good Friday. But that tomb is empty. And this has been the message of the church from the beginning, that there is a resurrection and a life in Easter that will more than compensate for the issues and challenges and trials of the present time. But there's something very good which is coming. I might think of some other things that our Lord said that could help us. He said, I'm the good shepherd. I know my sheep and mine know me. He knew Taylor and knows Taylor, and he loves her. We think of the Lord holding like he held the, the lost sheep close to him, holding her close to him. And what we should know is that he does the same for us. He holds us close. We have a great big gap in our hearts and minds and lives because of this. But he holds us close to him and brings us light and peace in the midst of darkness and loss and trial and so today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I want to invoke over you a divine presence which is healing merciful and loving and we together commend them Taylor to the loving care of a gracious and good God and we pray for all of those who loved her especially her close family and friends that they may have comfort in this time and so now let us trust that all the good things that God has given to us will come to a perfect conclusion if we stay close to the Lord and trust in his way. He is the resurrection and the life. Now let us pray. For Taylor and for all our beloved dead, that they may rejoice forever in the great banquet of the heavenly kingdom, we pray. For her family and friends and for all who need consolation and help, in this great time of loss, that the Lord will lift the darkness from our hearts and minds and bring peace and healing to us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and the suffering, for the lonely and the discouraged, for the brokenhearted and for mourners, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the gift of peace in our hearts, in our homes, and in our world, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in silence, you're welcome to offer up your personal needs and intentions. For all of these needs, for our friends and enemies, for our families, neighbors and benefactors, and for all the intentions we've been asked to remember, we pray. Father, we, with trust, we come before you this day. Touch our hearts and minds with healing peace, and merciful love through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. With your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have the, the wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Great brothers and sisters, in my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously accept this offering, O God, as a sign of our love for Taylor, so that trusting in the designs of your providence, we may be raised up by your gentle and fatherly care through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all is risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. <coughs> and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by his death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation 
We pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. <coughs> Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. And your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Taylor, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. When from the earth <coughs> he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. <coughs> to our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, <coughs> when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord and the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious and grant of peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Nourished by your divine gift, we pray, O Lord, that just as you have given Taylor a place at the table of your heavenly kingdom, we too may find a place there through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in his unfathomable goodness he created the human race, and in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. Would you say amen? Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace.